Okay. All right, so let's start sitting down in a seated position, hands on the knees. Let's close the eyes and take a nice long breath in and out. Inhale, lengthening up through the spine, reaching up through the crown of the head. And then exhale, relax the shoulders down, ground down through the sits bones. Inhale, sitting tall. And exhale, keep the length, but relax the body and ground into the floor. Good, one more long breath in. And out. Let's start to put some movement to that breath. Inhale, chest forward, shoulders back. And then exhale, round the shoulders forward, pull the belly in. Inhale, lifting forward to the front, lifting the chin. And exhale, pull that belly in and round the back. And keep moving. Go ahead and feel free to move at your own pace. Maybe you want to take this movement a little slower. Or you can definitely do it even faster to build some heat in the body. Just inhale as you lift and expand the chest. And then exhale, pulling the belly in and rounding the back. Good, let's take that movement into the side body, rounding into the back. And then forward. Exhale again as you roll back. Inhale as you come forward, bringing the shoulders back. Let's reverse the direction of our circle, rolling the other way, chest forward to the front and rounding to the back, moving into the side ribs. Good, let's extend the legs out to the front and we're going to row. So exhale, row forward, inhale, coming back. Exhale, and inhale. Pull the belly in, round up the back. Incorporating that breath with your movement. Exhale forward, inhale, come back. Just reverse the direction of your arms, coming low and then up as you come back. Good, let's open the legs a little wider. Sitting tall, grab a thumb, and we're gonna make a circle around. Getting that movement into your upper body and into your waist. A nice stretch into the hamstrings. Let's grab the other thumb and circle the other way. back together and we're going to do a couple of full roll-ups. So I want you to point the toes, bring the hands out, engage the belly, inhale. Now exhale, round out the back, reach forward towards the toes. Inhale, roll up the spine, drop the shoulders. Now exhale, start to roll down the spine and hands behind the head. Good. Inhale, lift up with the arms, rolling up off the floor and then exhale forward to the toes. Inhale up, straighten up the back, and then exhale, roll down. Try to go down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale up, rolling up off the mat, one vertebrae at a time. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale up, and exhale down. Good, one more. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale and exhale down. Hands behind the head. 
So from here, we're gonna reach long between the fingers and toes. Inhale, a nice lengthening breath in the body. Exhale, relax. Good, inhale one more time. Now exhale, let's go left foot to right hand. Then inhale, back down. Exhale, left foot, the uh, right foot to left hand. Switching, good. Moving back and forth. Pull that belly in. Try to lift your shoulder up off the floor when you reach for the toes. Good, just a few more of these. And last one. Let's bring both knees into the chest. Hug those knees in, lift the head up towards the knees, pulling that belly in, rounding the back. Inhale, open the arms and legs, and then exhale, pull the knees in, crunch up. Inhale, open, and exhale, pull in. Now, the higher you bring your legs when you shoot out, the easier it is. The lower you bring your legs when you shoot out, the tougher this is. Inhale, out. Exhale, pull in. Good, just a few more. And last one. Good, hold the knees in, hug, lift the head to the knees, and then relax the head down. Bring the arms out to the side. Let's bring the legs at a 90 degree angle. Good, inhale. Now exhale, lower the knees over to one side. Now really try to use the obliques to push that hip down to lift the legs. Exhale to the other side. Now use the obliques to push that hip down, not in the arms. Good, exhale to one side. Inhale, lift the legs, nice and controlled, trying not to use the arms, but just using the stomach. Exhale down, and inhale up. And exhale, and inhale. Last one. Good, on the back, relax the head down, pull the knees in. Let's roll the head side to side, just in case you're building any tension in the neck. Now we're gonna do one leg in at a time and one leg out. So we're gonna lift the head, pull, one, two, and then point. And then switch, one, two, and switch. One leg in and lower that other leg to the floor. Relax your head down, just squeeze up with the knee, and let's do some ankle circles. Circle the other way. Good, bring your arms out to the side, and we're gonna do circles as though you're drawing a circle with the knee, but we're really focused on getting that movement into the hip. So if you feel some popping and cracking in the hip, keep the circle small. If you don't and you're okay with it using your core, you can make that circle bigger. Try to keep that belly tight though and to keep those hips placed on the floor. And let's reverse the direction of the circle. Good, squeeze that knee up one more time. And then switch legs. Pull the other leg in, bring that leg out to the ground. Reach out through the heel, pull that knee up, relax the head down, ankle circles. And circle the other way. Good, release the knee and circles. Drawing a circle with the knee, but getting that circle motion into the hips. Keep that belly engaged, trying to not let a whole bunch of movement in the body while you're doing this. But keep that movement in the hip and the leg. Let's circle the other way.
Good, pull that knee up. Now let's straighten the leg, point the toes, lift the other leg. We're gonna do scissors, so we're gonna pull one, two, then switch, one, two, and switch. The lower you bring the leg that goes down, the harder this is. So if you're already feeling a little tired in the abs, maybe you keep your scissors pretty small, but if you feel up for the challenge, you can make it bigger and even a little bigger. Just a few more, three, two, and one. Good, so now um, let's roll over onto one side, coming up onto the hands and knees. So we want our knees right below the hips, hands right below the shoulders, pull the belly in, trying not to uh, let ourselves sag into it, but engage that belly so we have a nice neutral spine. So what we're gonna do, let's exhale, sit back into child's pose. Inhale, come up, round the back, pull the belly in, and then exhale, lower the hips and lift the chin. Inhale, pull that belly in, round back, exhale, sit back onto the feet. Inhale, up, rounding the back, and exhale, lift the feet, drop the hips, slight backward. Good, inhale up, engage the belly, exhale, sit back onto the feet. And inhale, and exhale. Keep the shoulders down when you're in this movement, trying not to drop into it. Exhale back. Inhale up. Now stay strong in the upper body, just lowering the hips, lift the chin, chest forward. Inhale. And exhale. So now, same movement, but we're going to do a little more in the upper body. We're going to do a tricep push-up, then come up and back into child's pose. Inhale up, and now lengthening out the spine, and exhale down into a tricep push-up. Come back up, and then round back in to our child's pose. Inhale, coming up, round the back. Now straighten out, keep the elbows in tight as we lower down into that tricep push-up. Just a few more. Rounding out the back, exhale. Inhale up and exhale back. Good, last one. Straightening out that back and coming forward. Up onto the hands and knees. Get the knees right below the, the hips again if they've moved. Hands right below the shoulders, pull the belly in. So let's go right leg and left arm and then lift up. Reach out through the heel, reach out through the fingertips, pull the belly in so that the back is straight. Point the toes. Let's go down and up, hand and foot. Keep that belly in. Good, keep the leg up, bring the hand down. Cross the leg over on the opposite side of your leg that's still on the ground. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna swing, kick that leg up to the shoulder and back. Trying to get as close to your shoulder as you can when you kick. Good, now bring that leg back, press into the ball of the foot, reach back through the heel, turn back and look at your heel, get a nice long side stretch. Good, now bring that leg back behind us. Keep it extended out. Let's bring out that left arm again, lift the leg. Inhale, now exhale, round the back, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend out, exhale in. Breathe in, reach, exhale, contract, round the back. Last one, good, bring it back out, arm down. Flex the foot into your butt and then point the toes out. 
flex into your glutes and press out. Sorry, didn't mean to say butt on this video. Really, when you flex in, you're squeezing the hamstring and then point out. Good, I know you're starting to feel it, but let's do one more exercise for this. Keep that foot flexed and press up to the ceiling. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring that leg down. Open the knees and sit back into a wide leg child's pose. Arms out long to the front. Press so that you're sitting right down onto the feet, nice and long in the spine, and then lower that head to the floor. Take a long, deep breath all the way down the back, breathing right down to the tailbone, and then exhale, try to soften into that pose a little bit. And exhale, nice, long, deep breath in, and exhale down. One more breath here. Good, let's come back up onto the hands and knees, bringing the knees right into the hips, hands below the shoulders, lifting that belly in, nice and flat in the spine. So now we're gonna go back with the left leg, forward with that right arm, and lift up. Good, let's go down and up. Reaching out through the fingertips and toes, trying to extend long. Good, keep it up, reach out again. I forgot to emphasize that in the beginning. So now let's bring the hand down, cross that leg over to the opposite side, and now swing, kick up to the shoulder, and back. Good, hold that leg back, ball the foot pressing down, reach back through the heel, square up the shoulders, but turn back and look at that foot, getting a nice long side stretch. Good, bring that leg back, but not in, and let's extend out that right arm again. And Oh yeah, inhale, reach out, and exhale, round back, elbow to knee, sorry. Inhale, and exhale. Pull the belly in, round back, inhale, reaching out. Last one. Good, inhale, reaching out, lower the hand. Now we're gonna flex the foot in and then point the toes out. Flex in and point out. Till still keep the belly in, back flat. Good, last one, and here we go, last exercise. Press up through the heel. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring that leg down. Uh, instead of going into child pose, curl the toes under. Let's lift up and press back into downward dog. So, pressing into the hands to lift the hips up. Exhale, drop the heels. Sit back, turn the sits bones up. Relax the head between the arms. Inhale, lengthen in the spine, lift the hips. Exhale, drop into the heels, pull the belly in. Nice big full breaths here, engaging the belly nice and light. Let's do a couple of uh, pedaling the knees, bend one knee and press one heel back. Get that movement into your hips. Good, press down into both heels. Inhale, come up on the toes. Exhale, let's walk up to the top of the mat. 
Hold it down, holding onto the elbows. Let the head fall between your arms and give a little swing side to side. Good, release the hands down to the floor. Bend the knees slightly, tuck that tailbone and roll up the back. Roll the shoulders back. Good, let's stay up here at the top. Grounding down into the feet, lift and spread the toes. Tuck the tailbone and pull the belly in. So we wanna lift up on the knees. So we have a lifting in the legs, tucking here, lifting and engaging in the belly. Shoulders back and down. Chin up, chest soften. As you ground into your feet, let's inhale, lift the arms up, reaching up, palms together, and then exhale to the heart. Pull that belly in. Inhale, lift up again and arch back. Lift up through the center of the chest. Good, exhale, swan dive forward, arms up to a T. Scoop that belly in, hands to the shins. Inhale, press up, flat back. Exhale, down, hands to the floor. Now. Step back or jump back into a plank. Inhale, exhale, low plank. Maybe you go all the way down onto your belly. Tops of the feet, inhale, upward dog. Shoulders down, maybe you're in cobra. Good, lift up with the belly, balls of the toes, press back to downward facing dog again. Lifting the hips up, relax the head, grounding into the heels, Inhale, sweep the right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring that right foot to the left side. Open your hip, keep the weight equal in your hands. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, round the back, pull your knee in like we were just doing on the floor. Now slide that right foot up and in between your hands into a high lunge. Press into that right foot. Inhale, come up warrior one. Now exhale, straighten the leg, fold forward, head to knee. Inhale, bend that knee again, sweep up, warrior one. Lift up, look up. Exhale, straighten the leg, fold forward. If you want to pause in warrior one or head to knee here, you feel free to do so. Well, we're gonna keep moving through this. Inhale up. And exhale forward. Good. Just a few more. Last one. Good. Let's stay down. Now we're going to keep a bend in that, into that front leg into a lunge. Ground down through your hands. Shoot the right foot up to the ceiling. Inhale up. Exhale. Lower that right leg to the floor. Pausing here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, open that left foot to the right side, opening your hip, weight equal the hands. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, round the back, knee to forehead. Now step the left foot up and in between your hands into that high lunge. Press <laughs> into the left foot. Inhale, sweep up, warrior one. Exhale, straighten up that front leg, fold forward, head to knee. Again, inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Again, up, breathing in, lifting up through the chest. And remember, if you want to pause in warrior one or this forward bend, you can do either one. Keeping that breath coordinated with your movement. Inhale as you move up and reach up. Exhale as you engage and fold. Just a few more. Last one. Good, exhale, hands to floor. Keep that front knee bent, press down. Inhale, left leg up to the ceiling. Reach up, exhale, lower that leg. Back into downward dog, shaking the head, dropping the heels. Now your choice. You can hang out here in downward dog or flow through vinyasa. Inhale, roll forward into a plank. Exhale down, low plank. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Curl the toes under. Exhale, lift up and back to downward dog. Big deep breaths here. Inhale, lengthen and lift in the hips and spine. 
Exhale, drop the heels, shoulders away from the ears, pulling the belly in. Inhale, up on the toes. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Now either walk or jump up. Hands to the shins, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Now arms up, actually let's go up into chair. So inhale, sweep the arms up by the ears. Exhale, sit and sink back into the heels, tuck the tailbone. Inhale, arms up, reach up. Exhale, sink back. One more, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, drop. Good, now inhale all the way up and back. Exhale, hands to the heart. All right. Okay, here we are. We're going to do another round of that salutation. Lift and spread the toes. Lifting up in the knees, engaging the quads, tucking the tailbone, engaging the belly. Shoulders back and down, soften the chest. Good, now inhale, arms up. Reaching up. Lengthening, reach up right through the fingertips, palms together, exhale to the heart, draw the belly in. Inhale, lift up and arch back. Exhale, swan dive forward, arms out to a T, scoop that belly in. Hands to the shins, inhale, press up, flat back. And exhale forward, hands to the floor. Now inhale, let's step back, oh, uh, inhale, step or jump back into a plank. Good. Breathing in. Now exhale, low plank or right down onto the belly. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Lifting up at the belly, balls of the toes. Press up and back in a downward dog. One breath here, breathing in, lifting, and out, sinking into the feet. Inhale, sweep the right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, bring the foot to the side, open the hip. Good, inhale, reaching up again. Exhale, round back, knee to forehead. Now step the right foot up and in between the hands, high lunge. Press into that right foot, inhale, sweep up. Warrior one. Now drop the heel, open the hips into warrior two. Shoulders down, tuck the tailbone so that you can pull that belly in. So we want a nice tuck and open the knee. Inhale. Now exhale, lower the left arm, reach up with the right, reverse warrior. Inhale, back up to the center. Exhale, lower the right arm, reach over with the left. Inhale, up. Now if you want to keep this a little more core work, don't touch your leg. Just reach that left hand to the front. Inhale, up. Same thing here. Don't land on your leg, but sweep that right arm to the back. Inhale. Exhale. Reverse. Keep that front knee bent. Inhale. Exhale to the front. Looking up. Getting that rotation in the neck. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale up to the center. Good. Now exhale. Cartwheel forward. Lift the heel up in the back. Shoot that right foot up to the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale, lower the leg. Good, inhale. And exhale here. Inhale, lift the left leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, left foot to right side, open the hip. Inhale, reach up, lengthen up. Exhale, round back, knee to forehead. And step up into between the hands. Now push into that left foot. Come up, warrior one. Drop the heel, open the hips. Shoulders down, warrior two, belly in, breathing in, exhale, drop that right arm, lift up with the left, inhale to the center, exhale, left arm down, reach open with the right, turn, look up, inhale up, maybe not using the hands, exhale, reach that right hand to the front, inhale up, now exhale, you can reach that left arm towards the back, inhale. Turn that right heel up, 
and then shoot that left leg up. Inhale, exhale, lower that left leg. Good, now again, you can hang out here in downward dog or flow through vinyasa. Tuck the tailbone, roll forward into a plank, lower it down, inhale up, good, exhale, lift up with the belly, ball with the toes, press back in a downward dog. Inhale, press into the hands, lift the hips, lengthening the spine. Exhale, drop the heels, but lift the sits bones up. Little shake no in the head. Now we're gonna work our way up to the top of the mat again. So inhale, come up on the toes. Now you can walk up or bend the knees and jump up. Exhale, hands to the shins. Inhale, flat back. Good, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up into chair, right by the ears. Exhale, sink a little deeper, tuck the tailbone, get that belly in. Inhale, arms long. Exhale, sink a little deeper. One more breath like that. Inhale, long. Exhale, sink. Inhale, all the way up and arch back. And exhale, hands to the heart. Good, let's do one more round. Inhale, lift up. Lift up through the center of the chest. Exhale, swan dive forward. Hands to the shins. Inhale, press up, flat back. Exhale, pull the belly in as you roll forward. Hands to the floor. Step back or jump back into a plank. Inhale and exhale, lower down. Tops of the feet. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, lift up with the belly. Balls of the toes, press back in a downward facing dog. Inhale, push into the hands, lift the hips. Exhale, sink into the heels, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, sweep the right leg up to the ceiling. Exhale, open the hip, bring that foot to the left side. Inhale, reach up, lengthen up. Exhale, knee to forehead, round the back. Step up and in between the hands. Push into that right foot. Come up into warrior one. But now, let's just turn to the side into a wide leg. So both toes pointing to the side. Inhale. Now exhale, let's fold forward. Keep those arms out into that airplane mode. So if I'm sideways, I want a nice flat back. Good, holding it here, exhale. Really keep lifting up with the arms, engaging the belly, flat back. Try not to just sink into it. Breathe in again. Now exhale, twist. Bring the right hand to the floor and the left arm up. So we're trying to align the arms and align the shoulders, getting a nice twist in the spine. Inhale back to the center. Now exhale, twist the other way, lower that left arm down and bring that right arm up. Gazing up at the ceiling, nice and straight through the arms, reaching up through the fingertips. Keeping the hips square, try not to let the hips move side to side. Continue to breathe. Good, back to the center. Inhale and exhale, come all the way up. Now interlace the hands behind the back, stretch down, lift up, and now fold forward one more time. Letting those arms rise, trying to keep the palms together in the hands if you can, getting a nice shoulder stretch. Good, inhale, lift all the way up, and then release the hands. So release the hands out, let's cartwheel forward into that high lunge. Now before we step back, we're gonna push up into that right leg again and lift the left leg up, lengthening up through the spine. Now, maybe you press up onto that leg to get a straight back, maybe extend the arms out by the ears. Good, holding it here, inhale. Now exhale, let's drop the foot and lift the arms up. Just touch with the toes. Good, uh, actually inhale. Now exhale forward. 
Good. Inhale, come back up, touch with the toes. And exhale, back into warrior three. Inhale, up. And exhale, forward. Whoa. One more. Inhale, up. And exhale, warrior three. Good, lower the hands to the floor. Lift up with that leg nice and high. And now with control, bring that left leg back into your high lunge. Now inhale, shoot the right leg up to the ceiling. And then exhale, lower that right foot down. Left leg, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, open the hip, bring that left foot to the right side. Inhale, lift that left leg up nice and high. Exhale, round the back, knee to forehead and step up and in between the hands. So now push into that left foot, come up into warrior one, and open right to the side again. So we're gonna do that wide leg forward bend. Inhale, actually just come down halfway, nice and flat in the back. Good, exhale. Inhale, let's do that twist again. Right hand down, left arm up. Aligning the arms. Looking up at the ceiling. Nice, big, long, deep breaths here. Good, inhale back to the center. And then exhale, lower the left arm and then lift the right arm up. Trying to get a nice straight line and looking up nice and straight in the hips. Inhale, back to the center. Hold it here, exhale. Inhale, all the way up. Now, interlace your fingers overhead and press up. So turn your feet so that your feet are at 45 degree angles. Now we're going to sit into a low squat, but now lower our body so that we're parallel to the floor. Drop back into the sits bones, sitting down as low as you can, getting the arms up right by your ears. Focus on your breath. Breathe through it. Good. Inhale, lift up with the arms and up. Good, arms to the side. So now we're gonna cartwheel forward towards the front of the mat, staying here into that high lunge. Press into that left foot, lift the right leg up, maybe bring the hands to your thighs, and then arms out by the ears. Lift the legs, arms long, inhale up, touch the toes, and then exhale, fold again. Inhale up, and exhale forward. Inhale up. Good, and down. One more. Inhale up. And exhale all the way down. Hands to the floor this time. Lift the right leg up high. And now with control, lower it behind you into that high lunge again. Good, inhale, shoot the left leg back, and up. Exhale, lower the left leg down. Whew. All right, so you can stay here in downward dog if you'd like, or let's flow through a vinyasa one more time. Inhale forward, exhale down, inhale up, and then exhale up and back to downward dog again. A few breaths here. Nice and relaxed in the neck. Lifting up with the hips. Good, inhale up on the toes. Now either walk up or jump up. And then sit down. So let's open the legs, wide but not as wide as you can. Sitting up straight in the spine, arms out. We're gonna do the saw, inhale. Exhale, twist and reach outside the foot. Inhale, back up to the middle. 
Exhale, twist and reach to the other side. Inhale up. As you twist, look behind you at your opposite arm. Inhale up. Pull that belly in as you reach across. Exhale across. Inhale, sit up nice and tall. Exhale across. Inhale up nice and tall. Just a few more. One more on each side. Good, now open the legs a little wider. Inhale, now we're gonna do a side stretch. So exhale, reach across with the left and over with the right. Inhale, back up to the center. Now exhale, reach across with the right and over with the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, now if you wanna add a little extra work, add a pull and flexing those lats when you come down. Exhale, over. Now inhale, pull and contract as you come back down. Good, let's do one more on each side. Nice, now from here, let's go as wide as you can with the legs and then keeping the back straight as we come forward, keeping the toes up, coming forward with the chest towards the floor and not the head, elbows towards the floor if you can. Sometimes it helps if you reach out with your first two fingers and hook the big toe and then come and dropping into it. Every time you exhale, sink and relax a little bit deeper. Inhale, and then exhale, relax a little more. Good, let's come back up to the center. Bring the legs in. So sitting right into the sits bones, Grabbing onto the back of the legs to lift the chest. Feet down. So now inhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale, roll down on the spine, hands behind the head. Good, inhale, roll up, pull that belly in, reach up, lengthen up. And then exhale, back down. If you need to, on the coming up, you can grab the legs to assist yourself up and then using the legs to lower yourself back down. Inhale, come up, and then exhale, rolling and coming back down. Good. Inhale, make sure when you come up, you lift up through the chest, right up onto the sits bones, and then back down. On this one, let's stay up. Inhale, up, bring the hands to the center of the chest, nice and light in the feet, and let's go up and down with the legs. Try to stay up on the sits bones, lifting up through the chest. Two more. Now, when you come down, open the legs and reach through for a butterfly. Come back, hands to the chest, up and down, and reach. Just a few more of these. One more. Good, now coming back, we're gonna do a few spinal rocks. So I want you to pull that belly in, get light with the toes. We're gonna to roll back up onto the shoulders and then come back up, trying to just barely touch, but balance instead of landing on the feet. Rounding out the back, right up onto the shoulders and up. Good, one more. Now here, let's stay here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna work our way into a shoulder stand. If you're not a shoulder stand practitioner, you can just keep your legs up here and get a, a little bit of that inversion feeling from this. If you are a shoulder stand practitioner, we come back into plow to start. Elbows close as you can in the back, hands down towards the base of the shoulder blades, and then kick back up. 
trying to get the body as straight as you can, stacking ankles over knees, knees over hips, and hips over shoulders. If you start to feel any pain in your neck or shoulder area, come out of this and just stay on your back. Don't forget to breathe. Keep your, your gaze at your big toes or maybe at your pelvic bone. Good, open the legs into a V. And back together. One leg down behind the head and then maybe the other leg drops behind the back, bringing the heel right to the glutes. And switch sides. Good, back up. So now, together, lower those legs down so that they're parallel to the floor behind your head, and then lift back up. Good, exhale down, just so that they're parallel and then inhale, lift back up. Good, again, exhale down, and inhale back up. Good, now let's come down into plow. Maybe your feet touch. If they don't, keep your hands here behind your back. If they do, interlace the hands behind the back and stretch the hands away. Press back through the heels, lift up on the backs of the knees and lift up on the sits bones. Not very long here, but now we're gonna bring our hands back onto the back, thumbs pointing in, fingers pointing out. Come up onto the legs, let the weight of your hips rest in your hands as you walk forward into the bridge. So now from the bridge, make sure your knees are right in front of your hips, not too far apart, and feet are right below the knees. Squeeze up with the glutes. Interlace the hands behind and under the back, stretch towards your feet. Press into the heels to lift up a little higher. Making sure we're engaging that belly. Keep pressing up, opening the hips, opening the chest. Nice big deep breaths, expanding that chest every time you breathe in. Release the hands and roll down the spine. Pull the knees into the chest and rock side to side. Put the left foot on the floor, right ankle in front, press that right knee away. We're gonna do the figure four, so the left leg comes back up. Interlace the fingers behind the knee or in front of the shin and pull in. Head relaxes down. Keep working the right knee away and flexing that left foot. Slowing the breathing down. We're past the work part. Enjoy these last few poses. Every time you exhale, try to get your body to relax a little bit. Slowing that breath down, slowing the heart rate. Release the knee, and now take that right leg over to the left side into the twist. Stacking the hips, extend the right arm out, adjusting the back, trying to get your shoulders flat on the floor. Turn your head to look out of that right arm. Relax the belly, soften the chest, soften your face. Every time you exhale, you become more relaxed. Good, let's come back to the center. And what we're gonna do is place the right foot on the floor, bring that left ankle over that right knee, press the left knee away, flex that foot, lift the right leg up, interlacing the fingers behind the right knee or in front of the shin and pull in. 
continuing to flex the left foot and work that left knee away as you pull in. Your head can just relax on the floor. Getting a good stretch into your glutes and your hamstrings. This is great for the sciatica, stretches that piriformis. Good, release the knee. Now take your right knee to the left, I mean your right hand to the left knee. Bring that left knee over to the right side. Stacking the hips again, extend the left arm out as we adjust the upper back so that it's flat onto the floor. Turn your head to look out at that left arm. Inhale and exhale, relax the belly and soften into the pose. Inhaling again and exhale as you relax. Just like you're melting into the structure of your bones, letting your bones support you as all the muscles just relax. both feet on the floor with some distance in between the feet and just windshield wiper the legs from side to side. Releasing any tension we might have in the lower back or the hips. And now we're going to end in Shavasana. So Shavasana is our corpse pose. We're going to bring the legs out to the front with distance between the legs arms to the side, distance from the arms and the body, palms up if that's comfortable for you. Make sure that the spine is nice and straight, even lengthening up through the crown of the head. Inhale, and exhale, sink into the floor, relaxing the body. Another breath in. And exhale, feel as though the top half of your body just sinks and melts into the lower half. Inhale, exhale, soften your face. Scanning through your body, making sure you're not holding carrying any tension. If you are, use that exhale to let go of the tension, to soften in any areas where you're having a difficult time. Once your body is completely relaxed, just bring your breath now to its normal rhythm and have your mind observe your breath. Observe your breath at its normal pace observing where it lands, how it travels, if it's deep or shallow. Trying to keep your mind as still as your body. 